Hello friends, in this video we are going to see a new board which I designed recently. Uh, before that, uh, it had been a long time since I wanted to make a building automation system. In fact, it was the first product which I ever dreamt of making. Time passed and uh, I didn't quite find the time and interest to venture into it as I felt that building automation is a old concept and uh, yeah, there are just too many people who are doing the same stuff. Recently, I got a requirement to design an audio announcement system which would play an audio file every hour. So I came across this mp3 player chip and uh, this idea crossed me that why shouldn't I make one multi-purpose control board which would control home appliances and give audio feedback like Amazon Alexa. So I designed this board uh, which can control the relays on board and uh, this can be based on the inputs provided either from the cloud using a uh, mobile application through the GPRS or uh, from a call using DTMF. So to tell about the features of the board, this is the first iteration of the board and uh, it's having four cube relays and it can drive appliances uh, running on 110 volts or 230 volts AC. And a SIM 800C 2G quad band module is used on board. Uh, it will work uh, all over the world and uh, uh, it's, it can be used for uh, cloud or call connectivity. You can uh, control the relays using by calling to the number of the SIM card inserted on the board and the device will auto answer. There is a SMA connector provided on board and you can connect any type of antenna. This is a VIP antenna. So this is the MP3 player section. So whenever the microcontroller gives command to the MP3 player chip, the MP3 player chip takes the files uh, present on the SD card and plays them uh, during an ongoing call through the microphone interface of the GSM model. So the output of the MP3 player is connected to the uh, microphone input of the GSM model. So you will, you will hear whatever the MP3 player chip plays during an ongoing call. So it's as if like the MP3 player is speaking uh, through the microphone of this GSM module. The microcontroller used is the STM32 Cortex M0 low power MCU with RTC. And this is the switching power supply section which can take 5 volts to 24 volts DC inputs and uh, bring it down to 4 volts and supply to the GSM module and other uh, parts of the board. The relays are all 12 volt relays, so I am giving 12 volt here at the DC power jack and uh, the same 12 volts is available for controlling the relays over here. And I have also provided a SWD connector which can be used for programming the microcontroller. Now let us see how the DTM portion of the board works. First we need to insert the SIM card and the SD card which contains the MP3 files into the device. Then we need to power on the device using a 12 volts DC adapter. And the network LED will start blinking at uh, one second rate. And once it has acquired the network, the LED will become stable and it will start blinking every three seconds instead of every one second. Okay, the LED has become stable now. It is blinking every three seconds. Okay. And uh, now uh, we need to wait for 30 seconds and uh, we need to ring the, uh, ring the number of the SIM card inserted uh, into, the, into the device. Okay, this is the welcome message which will be played and you will be asked to control and you will, you will be asked to select the number of the device which you want to control. You need to press 1 for controlling device 1 and you need to press 2 to control device number 2 and press 3 to control device number 3 and press 4 to control device number 4. Okay, I will select device number 1 now. It gave us an acknowledgement that uh, device number 1 was selected and uh, we need to press 1 to turn it on and press 2 to turn it off. I will press 1 now. Device phone was turned on and this LED will indicate that the relay is on now and uh, it is saying that we can press 2 to turn it off and we can go back to the main menu for selecting a different device by pressing hash. Now I will select uh, 2 to turn it off. Device number one turned on. Press 2 to turn it off. 
Trash number one turn on. Trash trash to go many many you. Again, I just want to turn it on. Nice number one turn on. Trash number two turn on. Trash trash to go many many you. I can go back to main menu by pressing hash. Welcome to all trunk system. Press one to control the light number one. Press two to control the light number two. Press three to control the light number three. Press four to control the light number four. I will select device number two now. Select device number two. Press number one. Turn on. Press number two. Turn off. Press number one to turn on. Device number two. Turn on. Press number two. Turn off. Press hash to go on menu and you. Device number two. Turn off. Press number one. Turn on. Press hash to go on menu and you. Turn it on again. Device number two. Turn on. And we don't need to uh, wait for the full message to be played. Turn on. Press hash to go on menu and you. Lock it to all transmission. Press one to control device number one. Press two to control device number two. Press two to control device number three. Press four to control device. Use selection device number three. Press number one to turn on. Press number two to turn off. Press one to turn it on. Device number three to turn on. Press number two to turn off. Press trash to go away menu. We don't need to wait to, uh, for the full message to be played. Uh, we can directly press the selection if we know the number in before. Okay, now I will press one to turn the relay four on. Device number two turn on. Press number two turn on. Press hash to go on main menu. Device number two turn on. Press number one turn on. Press hash to go on main menu. Device number two turn on. Press number two turn on. Press hash to go on. Now I can disconnect the call and call back again. The device will still retain the state of the relays. We can also add security to uh, answer the calls only for from a specific number, so that different, uh, so that uh, other people cannot take advantage of it. Welcome to all trunk systems. Press one to control device number one. Press two to control device number two. I'll select the device two. New selection device number two. Press number one. Turn on. Press number two. Turn off. I'll turn off device two. Device number two. Turn off. Press number one. Turn on. Press hash to go on main menu. Okay, so this is how the DTMA portion of the board works. It's quite fast and the release can be controlled in real time. And the audio feedback is an added advantage. Uh, this device can be controlled uh, using normal feature phones also. It doesn't need to have a smartphone. You can, con uh, you can control it directly using the dial pad during an ongoing call using the old Nokia 1100 handsets also. So uh, this is a very cheap solution to, uh, for, uh, in an approach to building automation. And uh, we can also we are also working on adding uh, MPTD connectivity connectivity to the board, and uh, the device will be connected to a particular topic, and it will be subscribed to that particular topic, and uh, you can publish a message or a command to that topic, and the device will uh, receive the command and control the relay based on the message uh, published message, and. Uh, uh, of course, we need to develop an Android application or something for this, but uh, uh, for the DTMA portion, you don't need to have anything. You can directly control the relays. Uh, we can, we will be adding security for to answer only specific uh, numbers. We can add one or two numbers which can control this particular board. So that's how the DTMA portion of the board works. It's quite fast and the relays can be controlled in almost real time using the DTMF tones. 
and uh, we will be also adding MQTT support for the device and the device will be subscribed to a particular topic and it will uh, uh, keep watching for the messages that are published to that particular topic to control the four relays. So that's all for now. If you are interested in this board and have any questions regarding it, drop me a mail to ravi at the rate valetron.com and I will be uh, posting updates on my blog ravivyp.com and uh, on, my, on my YouTube channel for about uh, further developments on this board. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more such content. Thank you for watching.